Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I got a 4.0 in college and tips on how you can get it too. If you're new, hi, my name is Courtney. Please hit that subscribe button down below because I would really love it. And I'm working on my way to get a thousand subscribers, so that would be really helpful. So if you'd like to see what tips that I have, then just keep on watching. So I have all my notes on my phone. It was easier for me to type it. Um, and yeah, so the first, so just a little backstory. I have just been an average student throughout school. I don't know, I guess I didn't really try as hard as I thought I could. My first couple years of college was really hard because my dad passed away the first year. So that was really hard and adjusting to a life without your own family is really difficult for any incoming freshman. You're on your own, you have to get a job. Living two hours away was just really hard because I am a family oriented person. I love being around my family. That's where I'm the most comfortable and being away was just like, it was a huge reality check. The only way that I was able to stay organized was my planner. So this is my planner. This is the Day Designer 2017, 2018. And this is the one I got from Target. This is a flat one. It's really thin and I really like it. It works a lot be better for me. The Day Designer is based on time. So it's from 6 a.m. till 7 p.m. I've used the Lily Pulitzer planners the past two years. And I just think it was overwhelming for me because they were just boxes and you just had to fill it out and it, it was just, it was a mess for me honestly. So this is basically what my weekly looked like. I had the times of when I worked. I had when I went to doctor's appointments. I also to go do observations for my class. And then I would just cut up sticky notes and fit it into the days that I had to do stuff. So, and then basically for my homework, I would write it in the down, in the boxes at the bottom of the pages, and I would write it when they're due. This week, I had a lot of stuff. As you can see, this is when I really started in, started getting into it. I would just write my homework on which days I would do it, and then I would cross it out when I finished. I'm trying this new thing where I just like highlight everything. This is what I did last week. Is my monthly outlook. For January not too bad I think it looks really cool because it's so colorful that is the best way that I stay organized and how I study is with color it's easier for me to memorize stuff when it's written in color another thing I did was write in sticky notes I wrote sticky notes everything I wrote a sticky note ev every morning on what stuff I needed to do for that day and I would just stick it right next to my planner which I always have sitting right there when I'm doing my homework so I can just cross it off as well. Oh, and all my classes last semester were online so it was really easy. I just find it that I do so much better on online classes. Another thing that I did was, I don't recommend this to everybody, but if it works for you, go ahead. I did my paper in one shot. For me, it works pretty well. I can just write it in like two hours. I had to turn my phone off and I would just put on airplane mode. I don't have any distractions. Another thing that I did was I rewarded myself with with little things every time I got a good grade on my papers. I know it can be it can really cost a lot, but honestly, I buy myself a new bracelet from Ksenia. Also just followed motivational people who posted like every day of their daily life that were very motivating and just helped me stay happy and excited to get things done. And the last thing that I wanted to say is that I started believing in myself and I started saying positive affirmations. Those are the tips that I have for you guys on how to get a 4.0 and do really well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.